Good evening, and welcome to the Easter Vigil, part three of the Sacred Triduum. We pray that you are in good health, and we pray in solidarity with you during this virus pandemic. We encourage you to visit the Basilica Parish website for updates, for links to prayers and devotions, as well as how to continue your financial support of our parish. Our celebrant tonight is Archbishop Hunt. Our Easter vigil begins in darkness and the lighting of the Easter fire. Peace be with you. And with your Dear brothers and sisters, on this most sacred night in which our Lord Jesus Christ passed over from death to life, the Church calls upon her sons and daughters scattered throughout the world to come together to watch and pray. If we keep the memorial of the Lord's Paschal Solemnity in this way, listening to his word and celebrating his mysteries, then we shall have the sure hope of sharing his triumph over death and living with him in God. Let us pray. O God, who through your Son bestowed upon the faithful the fire of your glory, sanctify this new fire and grant that, by these paschal celebrations, we may be so inflamed with heavenly desires that with minds made pure, we may attain festivities of unending splendor through Christ our Lord. Amen. Christ, yesterday and today, the Alpha and the Omega. All time belongs to him, and all the ages. To him be the glory and praise through every age and forever. Amen. By his holy and glorious wounds. May Christ, the Lord, guard us and protect us. Amen.
May the light of Christ, rising in glory, dispel the darkness of our hearts and minds. Christ our light. May the Lord be in your heart and on your lips, that you may proclaim his paschal mystery, praise, his paschal praise worthily and well, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Exalt, let them exalt the hosts of heaven. Exalt, let angel ministers of God exalt. Let the trumpet of salvation sound aloud our mighty King's triumph. Glad, let earth be glad as glory floods her, ablaze with light from her eternal King. Let all corners of the earth be glad, knowing an end to gloom and darkness. Rejoice, let Mother Church also rejoice. Arrayed with the lightning of his glory, let this holy building shake with joy, filled with the mighty voices of the people. It is truly right and just, with ardent love of mind and heart, and with devoted service of our voice, to acclaim our God invisible, the Almighty God and Father, 
and Jesus Christ our Lord, his Son, his only begotten, who for our sake paid Adam's debt to the eternal Father, and pouring out his own dear blood, wiped clean the record of our ancient sinfulness. These then are the feasts of Passover, in which is slain the Lamb, the one true Lamb, whose blood anoints the doorposts of believers. This is the night when once you let our forebearers, Israel's children, from slavery in Egypt and made them pass dry shot through the Red Sea. This is the night that with a pillar of fire banished the darkness of sin. This is the night that even now throughout the world sets Christian believers apart from worldly vices and from the gloom of sin, leading them to grace and joining them to his holy ones. This is the night when Christ broke the prison bars of death and rose victorious from the underworld. O oh, wonder of your humble care for us, O oh, love, O oh, charity beyond all telling, to ransom a slave you gave away your son. O oh, truly necessary sin of Adam, destroyed completely by the death of Christ. Oh, happy fault that earned so great, so glorious a Redeemer. The sanctifying power of this night dispels wickedness, washes false away, restores innocence to the fallen, and joy to mourners. O oh, truly blessed night, when things of heaven are wed to those of earth, and divine to the human. On this your night of grace, O oh, Holy Father, accept this candle, a solemn offering, the work of bees and of your servants' hands, an evening sacrifice of praise, this gift from your most holy church. Therefore, O Lord, we pray you that this candle hallowed to the honor of your name may persevere undimmed to overcome the darkness of this night. Receive it as a pleasing fragrance and let it mingle with the lights of heaven. May this flame be found still burning by the morning star, the one morning star who never sets Christ, your Son, who coming back from death's domain, has shed his peaceful light on humanity and lives and reigns forever and ever.
Dear brothers and sisters, now that we have begun our solemn vigil, let us listen with quiet hearts to the Word of God. Let us meditate on how God in times past saved his people and in these, the last times, has sent us his Son as our Redeemer. Let us pray that our God may complete this pastoral work of salvation by the fullness of redemption. A reading from the book of Genesis. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was a formless void and darkness covered the face of the deep, while the Spirit of God swept over the face of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw that the light was good, and God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning, the first day. And God said, Let there be a dome in the midst of the waters, and let it separate the waters from the waters. So God made the dome, and separated the waters that were under the dome from the waters that were above the dome. And it was so. God called the dome sky. And there was evening, and there was morning, the second day. And God said, Let the waters under the sky be gathered together into one place, and let the dry land appear. And it was so. God called the dry land earth, and the waters that were gathered together he called seas. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let the earth put forth vegetation, plants yielding seed, and fruit trees of every kind on earth that bear fruit with the seed in it. And it was so. The earth brought forth vegetation, plants yielding seed of every kind, and trees of every kind bearing fruit with the seed in it. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening, and there was morning, the third day. And God said, Let there be lights in the dome of the sky to separate the day from the night. And let them be signs, be there for signs and for seasons and for days and years. And let them be lights in the dome of the sky to give light upon the earth. And it was so. God made the two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night and the stars. God set them in the dome of the sky to give light upon the earth, to rule over the day and over the night, and to separate the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening, and there was morning, the fourth day. And God said, Let the waters bring forth swarms of living creatures, and let birds fly above the earth across the dome of the sky. So God created the great sea monsters and every living creature that moves of every kind, with which the waters swarm, and every winged bird of every kind. And God saw that it was good. God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the waters in the seas, and let birds multiply on the earth. 
and there was evening and there was morning the fifth day and God said let the earth bring forth living creatures of every kind cattle and creeping things and wild animals of the earth of every kind and it was so God made the wild animals of the earth of every kind and the cattle of every kind and everything that creeps upon the ground of every kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let us make man in our image, according to our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the wild animals of the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth, so God created man in his image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them, and God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the earth and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the air, and over every living thing that moves upon the earth. God said, See, I have given you every plant yielding seed that is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree with seed in its fruit. You shall have them for food. And to every beast of the earth, and to every bird of the air, and to everything that creeps on the earth, everything that has the breath of life, I have given every green plant for food, and it was so. God saw everything that he had made, and indeed it was very good. And there was evening, and there was morning, the sixth day. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and all their multitude. And on the seventh day, God finished the work that he had done. And he rested on the seventh day from all the work that he had done. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm is found on page 76 of the Catholic Book of Worship. 